it just felt like we were all one big family, which is something I haven't really felt in a sense of the entire company in a long time. So it felt really cool, and especially coming back, even though we're already back, but it felt cool. It felt like the first time we felt like a real family since the pandemic, and that felt really cool. Lay Miz is a ridiculously hard show. It's got the pit book, the horn, trumpet, everything in the pit book is incredibly hard. Casting, everything for that, incredibly hard. But you know, we have Connor, like trumpets covered, horn, Lexi, it's all covered. <laughs> and then all of the seniors kind of taking you. over those lead roles, just like it, it, everything fell into place perfectly. It felt like every person, every lead on that stage was meant to play this character. Aubrey Puccio as Nimena and Sonartier was the best decision that yes. has ever been made in this school. I literally, I think I watched Jack Kern age 10 years on right. that stage <laughs> as he sang ABC Cafe in the People's Song. Yeah. One of the most straining things about all of it is not like, I, we had to be there, but it was just emotionally draining, especially this show, because you had to show so much on stage that you just got so tired and your days are like, if you stay through the school, your days are 14, 15 hours. So there's not really much time for rest, but it kind of just builds up and it, it, it breaks you down for a little while. Especially like the very ending of the show is very emotional. Um, you know, there's, there's, if you don't know Les Mis that well, there's, there's a lot of death and, and, you know, really emotional scenes at the very end. Um, and like especially this year being seniors like it was just double that emotion because like we're portraying these characters that are feeling all of this this loss and this pain while at the same time like almost like you know feeling grief for our own time here you know what I, mean? I mean that's how I felt about it yeah. at least like you know I'm, I'm at the very end of the show and Cosette is crying because of what's just happened to her family um, but then like it's literally just me crying because like I'm losing this group that we have so it's it's like all, all of that extra strain being added on because we're seniors and it's our last show. I mean, running on autopilot just kind of made <laughs> everything work. It. Like with the days meshing together and you were just kind of like going through the motions. At the end, it was just like yeah. we were amazing, and it was. Comp I would do it again on a heartbeat. Yeah, I think it was kind of tough at first, um, but my sister is actually in the musical, so I have. Not even though I haven't been necessarily on in the cast, I've seen a lot of like the backstage moments so mm -hmm. it wasn't super challenging once I got into it to really become the character like the rest of them said like once you were on stage you were that character especially once dress rehearsals hit in it was just like it was it was not hard anymore to be that character because you were just in the moment and I think that was what made it easier to be on stage for so long part of it is as long like as much as the emotions get to you uh, I guess the emotions are part of your character. Like, it's a lot of sadness. Like in the start, no one's really crying because everyone's happy. But once, even if we're like upset at the end when everything's happening, it's fine to cry. So I guess it like, it makes it easier. It makes it easier to act out your character. Like I know in one of my scenes, I'm not gonna spoil anything, <laughs> but I I got upset during it because it was my last time on stage. I realized it, but it just made it that much more impactful because it just had that extra emotion into it. It's, it's definitely hard. I mean, it's not easy leaving the people that... I've performed with most of you, I think, for six years now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but even Katie, like, I mean, we've done chorus and stuff together in all state and all county and everything. Yeah. So I've, like, been with most of you since sixth grade, and. It's not easy leaving people that you make such a strong bond with, even if we're not all like the best of friends. Like we've we've created this bond and this family that is very special, and it's a very tight knit community. Um, and I'm just very lucky to be a part of that. Um, it's given me some amazing friends, and it's opened so many doors for me. And so. It's sad, but at the same time, like, I'm so grateful for it, and I'm grateful for everything that this has done for me. We had a limited crew, we had a lot of crew kids sick or quit, so we didn't have that many backstage, but the first, we had enough time to bring stuff out on stage, like, there was moments 
where like some people would be on one side of the stage, you know, acting, so we'd have time to go on the other side to, to put stuff away without being noticed. Mm -hmm. and really, it was just the first act that a lot of stuff was on. The second act, you're able to like to calm down and actually sort of watch how amazing our cast was. Um, so I play trumpet. So usually, um, like the big pit instruments, like piano, trumpet, horn, um, like trombone, usually play in every song. So. Wasn't really a lot of time to look up and watch the show throughout the whole the whole musical, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, the book is very challenging, so that's like one of my favorite parts about playing in pits is the sheer amount, not only amount of music, but the difficulty of the music is um, it leaves lots, like lots, of room to grow, and it's just really nice to see some of the underclassmen who didn't think they could learn the whole book at the end of Saturday night. Like see their faces and be like, yeah, like you guys, you guys pulled it off. Like that's just my one of my favorite parts. There have been younger students that have come up to me and, and told me that I'm like an older sister to them, and that that really means a lot to me. Yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm crying again. No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. It definitely. I feel like we just made everything run smoother. Yeah. And I enjoy that we all kind of have the same mindset of this needs to be inclusive. Everybody needs to feel wanted and like they deserve to be here because they do. I mean, like. Cast crew or pit, like everybody was amazing, and I think just because of us and the amazing staff that we have, it just kind of worked together very well. I mean, I have like a little seventh grade horn player, and she is like my little sister, and you know, she like has written me thank you cards, and like she's very, very happy that I was able to help, and I'm happy that I was too, because like I was in that position in seventh grade where I was just like. I don't really know what's going on, <laughs> and it's my first year up here, and it's always, it, like, intimidating. And so, you know, even just, like, being there and being like, hey, this is how you play this, or, like, you should do this and not this, it's like, I can tell that they really appreciate it when we help them, because they, it's hard for them to figure it out by themselves, because, like, they've never done something of this caliber before. Uh, I sort of made it very clear from the start, and it was sort of my mission to sort of make sure that all the underclassmen sort of felt welcomed. I didn't want anyone to sort of feel like they were less than anyone else, and I thought that that was very important to make sure that the seventh graders were feeling included and that they felt like they were one of the bigger kids. But I also think it was really important to sort of create a sense of discipline that came from the students rather than the directors because there are just some things that the directors cannot really stress where the students can and I think that that was really important to sort of like I know like backstage for the boys Nate and I would sort of be like listen here's what you're doing backstage here's the rules here's what you do in the changing rooms like there will be no nonsense no anything and it's sort of I feel like it's more meaningful when it comes from your peers rather than your directors so I think that that was sort of a really important thing to sort of stress but I just loved sort of being in this position because I had grown up watching other people in the position and I sort of, not that they didn't do it well, but I was just like, I think it's really important that I sort of try to make it as n nice as it can be. I think it's very important to make sure that everyone feels included and no one's feeling exclu excluded because I think we're all sort of just a big family. We weren't carrying it. I feel like we were we were leading oh, this year. Um, but like no, the you know some of the younger kids they were really holding their own and they're they're going to continue to to, to take our place it just, and to pick it up is, the mantle. It's consistent top tier. Like yeah. it's never Which goes, is not normal. No, like, it's not. The school is unreal. Like, like it's just consistently good. Like it never goes down really. <laughs> it's just like wow, they just keep getting better. Mm. Why yeah. is that, do you think? There's something in the water. Yeah. I, <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's oh, it's it's all the jello. It's all the jello. I, jello. I also definitely think the the teachers and this like we have an incredible staff, just incredible. Like they do something different where they let you know they work on the music. We make sure we get the music good or coming. You know, the timing for coming in for stuff is also good. But for the acting and for everything else, blocking. They let us run wild. Like you, as you know, Marius. What are you thinking in this scene? What would you do? They let it flow. They don't give you. You're standing X, and you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do that. They let it happen, and that sort of like natural feel makes it more entertaining and makes it more realistic. Yeah, and I feel like all the emotions in this show are something that like everybody can relate to, whether it's heartbreak or it's joy or it's just sadness and like 
wanting nothing to do with anything. Like, knowing that everybody else felt the same way, especially on Saturday night, I was just like crying at the end, trying to play the bows. And I'm just like, well, everybody else is crying, so it's okay. It's like, it's nice that it's, it was a show with a plot that was a fairly easy to follow once you actually started to like understand it and be emotional but it's like even if you were in the audience you understood how the characters were feeling like somebody has lost somebody at one point or they've you know been happy and joyous especially like during the wedding when marius and cosette get married like that's a happy time and it's funny and so i just i enjoy that like everybody was able to feel the same and it was just kind of like a collective like we can all cry together but we can also be really happy together and so it just kind of made it feel even more connected and close just overall i feel like it was a great a great total performance not individual like some shows you see around us it was very put together as a whole and i think that came from the connectivity of just even like cast of pit pit to crew and we all were just working together really well and it came out as just a beautiful show